Hey guys, it's Jackie. Jacka is Jacka. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. It's almost Christmas and almost 2021. Thank the Lord. All right, uh, Jackie, shut up. Um, in this video, <laughs> we make this look using the Hot Chocolate Eyes Sugar Cookie from e.l.f. It is a holiday palette. I know, I always told myself, Jackie, don't get holiday makeup, because you can only use it during the holidays, and then once they stop selling it, you can't use it anymore. But I can when I'm not filming, and I love this palette. Anyways, so we create another look with that palette. Uh, if you enjoy, <laughs> wow, if you enjoy beauty-related content, such as tutorials, mainly and reviews and trying new makeup then make sure you hit the subscribe button it's free to subscribe and it's free to watch also while you're watching if you enjoy what you're seeing and you enjoy me then hit the like button because it's free to like it too and don't you love helping people I'm one of those people you can help just by hitting the like button yeah. Anyways, next to the subscribe button, there's a little bell. Ring the bell if you want to become part of the hashtag notification nation. So YouTube will alert you as soon as my videos go up. Uh, in my description box, you will find the handles, my social media handles to Twitter and Instagram. Feel free to follow me if you would like. If not, hey, it's your loss, not mine. Okay, that was weird. Uh, yeah, let's get into this tutorial using Hot Chocolate Eyes Sugar Cookie. Yay, today we get to play with the e.l.f. Hot Chocolate Eyes Sugar Cookie Palette again. I was smart and wrote on the back what it is and when I received it. Oh, yeah! Yeah! because it didn't say on the back what palette this was, and I was like, I'm never gonna remember that. So I got out some labels, and I wrote on them, and I put on the back. Same with the King Size 50 Piece Eye and Face Palette. It's the same thing, because it doesn't say on it. It's just, just a fun little idea, in case you need to know what palette's what. I mean, if you're just the, you know, average Joe, I don't know why you'd be a Joe, but if you are, well, maybe you are a Joe, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, but if you're just, you know, somebody who does makeup and doesn't do videos, you don't necessarily need to know the name, but maybe you want to. I don't know. Okay, anyways, wow, Jackie, stop rambling. Let's play with it. All right, I'm going to use, you know what, I think I'm going to use my Believe Beauty Primer again. I kind of, I really like this primer. So we're going to use that to prime the eyes. Today is, well for me it's Tuesday. Uh, for you it's Thursday, Christmas Eve. So a, a, a Merry Christmas Eve if you celebrate Christmas. If you don't, hi, how are you? I don't know what you celebrate. I don't know all the, uh, I'm a terrible person. Like I don't know much about things I don't celebrate. I never really, like, I don't know when Hanukkah starts, when Hanukkah ends. I'm pretty sure Hanukkah's over. I'm 99% sure, but not 100. I think Hanukkah's over. I don't know. Kwanzaa, no idea. Sorry, guys. I know that is so white of me not to know these things. <sighs> what could I say? grow up in a very diverse place where I live it's not all that diverse and cultural so I don't really know things never really had to does that make sense I'm not offending anybody because I'm admitting it some people can't even admit it Anyways, so yeah, for you it's Christmas Eve, and Merry Christmas Eve to you if you celebrate Christmas. Uh, for me it's Tuesday, 
the last day I can film before my son has his lovely winter break. All right, we're gonna use this as pointed. I don't know what's so pointed about it. It's not very pointed. Uh, pointed crease eyeshadow brush from Profusion. It's kind of big, but we're gonna make it work. And I think I'm gonna go into this shade right here and use that. Let's see, did you get that? Use that as my transition. Sorry, sometimes I go over here and the camera's actually over here. So I gotta make sure I'm going to where the camera is. The lens, the lens, the camera lens. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna use that shade. So if you do celebrate Christmas, what are you doing? I'm doing nothing. Well, giving my child his gifts. But other than that, nothing. Not a thing. I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do that day. Probably nothing. Maybe I'll do my makeup and, I don't know, listen to music or something. I'll find something to do. Ah! That hurt, that hurt, that hurts. It really hurts. <sighs> I'm hearing like, don't, get all like worried about it if people who worry about me don't don't get all worried but I've been having this like little pain in my chest this morning just comes and goes mm, no it's not don't worry I can still breathe just fine it's not getting worse just randomly comes and then goes and I make sure I breathe in deep when it comes to make sure it's not affecting my breathing no worries for those of you who don't know I had a heart attack when I was 30 I had a blood clot and it was 97% um, blocked or something. And it was in the left arterial descendant. I don't know, I guess it's like a major artery. And they call it the widow maker. But lucky for me, even though I went all day having a heart attack and didn't know it, uh, I went to the hospital later that night and that's when I learned I had had a heart attack and I thought they were kidding and the lady was like yeah we don't we don't joke about that that's not we don't joke about that and I was like because I was like are you serious and they're like yeah we don't joke about that and so yeah that was fun and that was on a Friday, and it was the third day of kindergarten for my child. So my child's been worried about me every day since then, and he hates going to school and leaving me. And yeah, it just kind of set for a bad tone for, you know, school. And that's part of why my son hates going to school so much. But anyways, so yeah, I don't know, just right in my of course it's the same area anyways um yeah so i don't know i've just been having a little pain there this morning i don't know what it is but i'm okay don't worry don't worry i'll be fine but yeah they had to put a stent in it was a ton of fun that i never want to do again i it was mm, it was the most painful thing I've ever been through in my whole entire life and I had a child. But then I had an epidural when I had the child. They did give me a sedative because they always have to give you a sedative. But it's like a sedative that just is supposed to make you like not know what's going on. But that's a lie. And um, it did not a damn thing for me. I felt the whole damn thing. I cried like stream crying the whole time. I was in so much pain and I'm the type of person when I'm in pain, let me move on to the next color so we're not sitting here all day um I think I'm gonna warm this look up a little bit with this shade it's kind of like a warm brown terracotta yeah that's right terracotta anyways so I'm gonna use that in the crease kind of warm up the look a little anyways so I like I'm the type of person I like rock when I'm in pain and I was like trying to like move around and they went in through my wrist um, and they were like stop moving because <laughs> you're not supposed to move during this procedure because they're going into your artery in your arm and going all the way through anyways it, I felt the whole thing 
it was the most painful thing I've ever experienced in my whole entire life and I told myself I'd never do it again so if I ever needed another stent I was just gonna have to die I was I'm I'm that dramatic of a person when I don't handle pain well so when I'm in pain I'm like rather be dead thank you um, but yeah and then my arm swelled up and like my whole arm and I was black and blue all through here it was it was fun yeah good times I was in the hospital for like a week it was yeah mm -hmm. anyways so my family worries there's nothing to worry about right now I'm just stating that I don't know a little discomfort this morning in my chest I don't know seems to have gone away though I mean I did just experience it like at the beginning of this video but I haven't experienced it since so hopefully it's gone whatever it is you don't really need much of that color I'm just saying like damn okay it's there it's there that's for sure it's a pretty color though I mean, it does warm things up real nicely to take it too high but I always go so high with my shadows and I don't know why my stomach just growls I'm hungry I've been eating too much pie there's apple pie at Walmart yes I shop at Walmart don't be all judgy judgy I know some people are like oh Walmart such lower class whatever I shop where I can afford to shop and that's fine with me because I like Walmart actually Anyways, wow, Jack, you're getting real defensive about Walmart. Okay, so, yeah, there's this apple pie. It is an apple pie with caramel drizzle. <sighs> I don't want to brag. <laughs> this is such not, so not brag. Somebody's talking about me, my ears ringing. I don't want to brag, but I can eat a whole pie in, like, two days. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> Anyway, so I've been snacking on pie in the evenings after dinner, and I usually try not to eat anything after dinner. I usually try to just eat dinner and nothing else for the whole day because uh, I'm, I'm trying not to get fat. It's not working, but that's probably because I keep eating in the evenings. So I have been, I'm just taking that transition brush and just kind of blending the edges. So yeah, I've been eating pie, and now like I get hungry in the morning. And it's kind of annoying because I'm like, too bad stomach, you gotta wait for dinner. So yeah, that's my story. Do you like it? It's a good story, right? I thought it was a good story. <laughs> I have to go in with that bone shade and kind of like tone it down. I don't know. We'll see. I'm slouching. I'm so sorry. I am such a sloucher. Jackie's such a sloucher. That reminds me. I've got to get a refill on my one of my prescriptions. Got to send it in or request it. Anyways, on the lid. Oh, I don't know. Let me. I'm gonna swatch this shade because this shade is so cool. Oh, what's that? Oh, I don't know. It might be. Oh, it's more of a topper. What are you gonna put under it though? Oh no. Maybe this shade and then go over top of that. I think that's what we're doing. This is going to be like more of a neutral um, look today. So, I'm making a mess. Guys, I'm making a mess. Jake, you're so whiny. Stop. Okay. I'm whiny about being whiny. Oh, that's great. I'm a great human being. Okay, we're gonna go in with this shade on the lid. And I'm gonna use my finger. Well, I'm not real sure that warm brown kind of goes with this now that I'm looking at it. 
Might be too warm. Oh boy, look at all this under eye crap. It's all right, it'll come off when I use a makeup wipe and clean up, right? Mascara. Okay, other, other eye. Here we go. right thing with that terracotta I'm not real sure but I feel like we had to warm it up somehow terracotta is pretty like meh, feisty meh. okay good all right do we do the outer corner first and then put on the glitter topper topper thingy do we do we do that let's do that okay I'm gonna do the outer corner his little elf crease brush and we're gonna do the dark brown because it seems to be the only shade that'll work it's the darkest shade in the palette Jackie why are you talking like that <laughs> we're gonna go in the other corner and add a little dimension because in my world you have to do this or it's just wrong it's just how I learned how I learned to do makeup, you always add dimension. You don't have to, I guess. People don't, not everybody does. You know? It's not personal preference, I guess. Yes, Jackie, it is. It's personal preference. Anywho. Blend that out right there. Wow, yeah, you just blended it into a circle. You're Got it best. That's better. Okay, great. Moving on to the other eye. I'm super annoying today, not gonna lie. And it's okay if you tell me, yeah, Jackie, you are super annoying today. I'm okay with that because I know that there are days where I can just be obnoxious. It just seems to be one of those days. Family's gonna love it. <laughs> Especially my husband. <laughs> Good times. Anyways, it's my story for the day. Okay, I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Yeah, I sang country, so I don't even like country. I used to. I don't anymore. I'm just taking that crease color and trying to blend the edge out. Uh-huh, yes, yes, here we go. Okay, cool, cool. Now I'm going to go on top with this shade. This seems to be more of like a topper shade. So I'm gonna go on top with that and see just what I can get it to do. Cause if it's very crumbly like a topper shade. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Ooh, yeah. See, I don't think it would've looked like this on its own. I think it needed something underneath. Otherwise you would've been able to like see through to my lid, you know what I'm saying? That's what topper shades do. Oh gosh, okay, mm, totally not regretting this decision at all. Okay, beautiful. I really like that color. It really livens up the lid, doesn't it? Look alive, lid. Oh yeah, totes. Ooh, I like that. Okay, we're gonna have to blend that corner, that outer corner shade in though. It needs to be blended. Oh God, let's do a little bit of blending. That's a little better. Keep going, keep going. That's good. Yay me. It's beautiful, isn't it? I love it. That is a pretty shade. Okay. Digging that, digging that decision. That was a great decision, Jaggy. I know, right? Thanks. 
Alright, let's kind of clean up the crease as much as possible, even though we all know with hooded eyes, it's going to transfer up into the crease, and the crease shade is basically going to disappear because, well, that's what happens when you have hooded eyes. I'm trying to keep it in there, though. I don't know. They may disappear. Sorry, my back itched. I know that's random. Like, why is she just sitting there with her arm up? <sighs> See where it's going to transfer at and try to blend above. Alright. Why is it not like that? Uh... Okay, well, it is what it is. Alright, now, transition brush. Here we go again. Now, clean up the fallout. Fallout, fallout. That's not the words, not that I thought it would be funny. All right, Jake, you're not funny. I wish you guys could see me when I'm doing the rest of my makeup. I'm listening to music, which is why I cut it out. When I cut it out, I'm always listening to music. Um, yeah, but I have to cut it out because you can't have this you know, music on on uh, videos because YouTube doesn't like that. Actually, it's the creators that don't like that, but whatever. Not the creator creators, but the people who created the music. Anyways, it's them who have the issue. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a big deal. So yeah, but I'm like jamming out to music and singing along and it would be entertaining for you guys to see, but I can't do that. So, yeah, I'm going to use the Maybelline New York Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. And I'm going to line even though I know it's going to disappear. So today is my son's last day until next year. Yay. And hopefully by the time he has to go back, they're still in school. I don't know. That's a good week and a half away. Anything could happen, as we all know. Anything could happen. Did I clean this off? I didn't. <sighs> I usually try to clean it off before I put it back, but I didn't last time because I'm a terrible, terrible person. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Alright, Jackie. Let's not be all dramatic. It's hard for me come from a dramatic family, I think. I don't know. Some of us are dramatic. Anyways, let's curl. There is kind of a lot of fallout with that glitter topper. I'm not gonna lie. I just keep seeing it like in the corner of my eye. All right, let's, 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 let's we're gonna lash princess it up today. Today, a eh? Canadian, eh? They don't say A as much as you'd think, I don't think. I'm not 100% sure, maybe. It may depend on where in Canada you are. I mean, because I watch Canadians. Um, I watch uh, YouTubers who are Canadian. That didn't sound very, I don't know why. It sounded so like wrong to say Canadians. I watch Canadians. I don't know why that, that, that just didn't sound right to me. Anyways, so I watch some YouTubers that are Canadian and like, they don't say A, like h hardly ever. But like, I remember when I was younger, we used to go to Niagara Falls, cause Niagara Falls is only a couple hours from me. But we used to go, back when you uh, didn't need a special like passport to get across to Canada, you could just use your license, like normal people, um, you know all that and you could anybody could go over there with just a license you know you showed your license we went over to the Toronto side the Canadian side of the Niagara Falls Toronto and uh, there they said a <laughs> they were super friendly though we kept running into these two guys and um, yeah 
Cause it's like, I don't know, that place is open to like, it was like a, like a street of like stores. Yeah, it was cool. But it was like, they were open till like two in the morning, but we kept running into these two guys. They were so friendly. They were wondering like what movies were playing in the States. So they said sometimes they'll come to the States to watch a movie because it comes out in the States before it does in Canada. And we were like telling them what movies were out and stuff. They were really friendly, but they said A. So I don't know, maybe it depends on what part of Canada you're from. Any of you know, let me know. Curious. I'm curious. Okay, um, I'm going to finish the rest of my face and then we will of course be back to finish the bottom lash line and choose a lip. Stay tuned. I'm gonna dance and sing, but you're not gonna be able to see it. But yeah, I'll be back. And I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Pop out my earrings after I did my face makeup. Haven't worn them since that one video, the Dollar Tree stuffing stalker video. So I was like, hey, I should put some earrings on because my hair's up. What? Brilliant. Anyways. <laughs> oh, Jaggy. All right, we're going to do the bottom lash line now. And we're going to... The same crap I always do. Actually, I want to try it in a different order this time. Let's try it in a different order. First, we're going to try the transition. And we're going to buff that along the bottom here. I'm sorry if I'm out of focus, out of frame. I suck at not slouching, especially when I'm doing the bottom lash line. Wow, I have some pretty... Uh, creepy eyes today. I don't know how I feel about this concealer I used. I thought it was good, but I don't know. I'm not feeling it today. Okay. Then we're going to go in with the terracotta crease shade. Closer to the lash line. So I do this with my mouth wide open, catching flies. See, but I still feel like that needs to be blended out with a transition shade. So, I don't know. I don't know if I like this order. I feel like I need to blend this out with the transition. Oh, it's a sink. I was like, what the heck is making a dripping noise? See, now let's take the crease shade again, or the transition shade, and blend that out a little. <sighs> There's that pain again. Uh-uh. Uh oh, what's going on here? Oh, I feel like I could crack my ribs. It's like I need to crack my ribs. Okay, now we're going to take the outer corner shade, that brown, that dark chocolate brown. Put it in the third, outer third. Take that transition or that crease brush and kind of, yeah, that, that, that topper. I don't know. Maybe next time I use that topper, I'll use a glitter glue because it just wants to go everywhere. It is all up in my crease. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, let's put on some liner. Hold on. We need to do better with that terracotta. You blended it away too far. All right. Oh, 
Got my nose. Oh, no, not the nose. Oh, my skin is so dry lately. It's insane. And so is my elbow. All right, we're going to get a liner, 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 liner. This is a caviar liner from Believe Beauty. I love this liner because it glides on so well and it stays all day. And it's only like at the most $5, but I don't even think it's $5. $4? I don't know. It's good and it's worth it. You can only get Believe Beauty at the Dollar General, just so you know. I'm going to do about half. Other side. All right, then we do some mascara. Mm. I'm gonna use the Falsies Last Lift by Maybelline. I love this on my bottom lashes, but I do scrape it off because it is messy. I don't know, it just seems easier for me to control where I'm putting it and it doesn't get everywhere if I scrape it off. Okay. Ew, pretty. And then we're gonna pop the highlight that I used in the inner corner and brow bone, which is the e.l.f. Moonlit Pearl baked highlighter that I've used. I haven't used anything new. I don't really have new face makeup to use, so like that's why, why bother continuously showing you the same stuff? We know how it works. We've been there, we've done that. You know, same stuff, different day. If I get a new something, I will make sure to show you. Ooh, I love that. It's so pretty. Such a pretty highlighter. Why don't you scrape off that top layer? Ugh. I say this in every video. Why don't you scrape off the top layer? It's gorgeous. No, no. It's so pretty. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Brow bone. That is something I do hear uh, a lot from the, my YouTubers that I watch that are Canadian. They do say, okay, 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 a lot. I think that might be why I'm doing it because it's like so used to watching them that now I'm doing it too. Oh no, have I become Canadian? Eh, whatever. It's not that easy, Jamie. Can't just say, okay, 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 and then be like, I'm Canadian now. That's not how it works. Not at all. Yeah, gosh, if that was how it worked, do you know how many people would have did that when Trump became president? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, there we go. Now we need a lip. We need a lip, 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 lip. Hmm, for these eyes, <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to keep doing like a nude lip. I want color. Peachy keen. Let's see here. I think it'll go. All right, cool. Peachy keen it is. With, <sighs> I see I have the peachy. Okay, here's the thing. All right, here's my thing. I have one gripe. Just one. This peachy keen liner does not match this lipstick. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, take the liner and I'll show you. Hold on, let me make sure my hand's clean. Oh no, I'm getting lip liner everywhere. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, scratching myself. There is the lip liner, you see? How like pinky that is? So pinky. Okay, so then I'll show you 
the Peachy Keen lipstick, you can just tell it's darker. Look at this. Do they match? Do they match? They don't freaking match. The lip liner is so much lighter than the lipstick. Like, how? Oh. I don't know. Anyways, that's my one gripe I have thus far with anything that I've gotten from Gerard Cosmetics. By the way, get Gerard Cosmetics in PR, just so you're aware. I should say that in every video, and I haven't, so please don't sue me, YouTube. I don't want to be sued. All right, I'm going to take this lip liner. This is by Poudier. I don't know, but it's like a mauve shade. It's kind of like my lip color, like my lip color perfectly, so it's just kind of, just kind of goes as a liner. Yeah, that's like my lip color, but better. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. All right. Peachy keen it is, folks. That's my one tip. Here's a tip. <laughs> What is on my hand? Let's not do that and get it on my face. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's a tip. Uh, yeah, if you don't have a lip liner to match a lipstick, use a lip liner that's closest to your lip color, and this is what you get. Okay, so we are. Do we like this? Oh, crud. Do I like this? I don't know if I like this. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to add a little bit of Kim Kimchi Doll, that real light peachy shade in the center. All right. Good enough. So, this, oh, why do I keep doing that? Jeez. This is the final, this is the final look. As you can see that glitter topper is getting everywhere. I think next time I would use a glitter a glitter glue. Yeah. A glitter glue. Okay, next time I'd use a glitter glue. Just so it would hopefully stay where I want it a little better. But yeah, so this is the finished look. What do you think? Do you like it? I think it's cool. I do like that topper shade, though. It is very pretty. And I bet it would look pretty on every single color in this palette. I honestly, guys, I love this palette. I love it. <laughs> I really do. I love it. Oh, I can't wait to play with it more. But next, we're going to play with the King Size 50 Piece Eye and Face Palette again. And we're going to do a look with this one again. So tune in for that. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And it's free. It's free for you to just hit the thumbs up. And it helps me. Don't you feel good about yourself when you help other people? Well, by hitting that thumbs up, you help me. And it makes me happy. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay, so yes, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Um, yeah, hopefully you will return for some future videos. And I hope you have, if you celebrate it, a Merry Christmas. And I'd say, and a Happy New Year, but you're going to see me again before that. So, a Merry Christmas to you, to all who uh, celebrate. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!